We are tracking a wildfire burning in Twilla County that could force people to evacuate. The Middle Canyon fire has burned more than 200 acres. It's now 5% contained. Firefighters briefly evacuated some people and they may be forced out again, along with thousands of people in town for a weekend event. News 4 Utah's Glenn Beebe is live in Tooele County with more. Glenn. Yeah, well, Kim and Glenn, the tough part about this fire right at this point is that it is the hottest part of the day. That's when we tend to see the most activity on the hillside behind me. Things have calmed down a bit. They, they've had a lot of airdrops there, but it's the backside in the canyon that is their biggest worry at this point. Now, to get the latest, we're going to bring in Leanne Fox. So, Leanne, tell me a little bit about uh, what kind of is your biggest concern or what's the biggest, yeah, what is the biggest concern at this point? Our concern is that the fire is moving east and it's going to make some downslope runs. Um, we're trying to prevent that from happening, but there's a slight chance of thunderstorms from now until midnight, bringing 30 gusts of 30 miles per hour, and uh, with that wind-driven, with terrain-driven winds. And a little bit earlier when this thing really took off, you had sustained winds of about 30 miles an hour as well. That's right, and it really impacted the fire behavior. And tell me um, about resources. We've seen a lot of helicopters. We've seen some airdrops, but crews on the ground, you only have about 20 people. When can we expect more? So, as you mentioned, the challenges are our lack of resources on this fire throughout the West and, and in the state of Utah. Resources are very sparse, so we expect crews to be here sometime tomorrow. And have they said how many you could possibly have? No, and, and that can always change if something else pops up. It's not a guarantee that we'll receive those crews, but they're predicted to be here tomorrow. And when you have terrain like this, uh, I know that we've seen a lot of airdrops, which obviously helps, but yeah. is it more something where you need crews on the ground cutting line? Yeah, it's a team effort. You need crews on the, on the line, on the ground, working as well as resources in the air. We've been lucky to get some retardant drops from those planes as well as the two helicopters that we have. So it's really a team effort. Is it kind of unpredictable at this point? Do you know when, uh, if there's going to be any more evacuations or anything like that? It's definitely, um, I don't have any information on that. We haven't evacuated this community and we have an established line where those power lines are behind me. And so th that's all I know up to this point. All right. Thanks so much, Leanne. We appreciate it. And of course, we'll continue to keep you up to date on any evacuations or possible evacuations. For right now, though, people who did want to camp up the canyon who wanted to go to the Country Music Festival are not allowed to do that. They have moved some camping areas to where people can still stay but um it will uh but for right now no one is able to camp up this canyon and those areas uh are still in the fire danger zone and so crews are working on that reporting live in Tooele, i'm glenn Beebe, news for utah